Hello everyone, welcome to Nagash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import an urban context into your Twinmotion 2023. You can do this to add extra depth and environment into your Twinmotion so you can place your model in real time into what looks like the real world environment in your Twinmotion 2023 visualizations. So currently I have a context in here imported. This is probably Central Paris. So I can go on and uncheck this and then we're going to go, I'm going to show you how you can go about importing your own context into Twinmotion. So I have a brand new scene here and I'm going to show you how to go about importing it. So first thing I'm going to do is to actually delete the starting base. And in order for you to actually import an urban context into your Twinmotion 2023, you're going to need an active internet connection. And you're also going to be need, let me just cross check this. Do you need to be signed in? Yes, you do need to be signed in as yourself in Epic Games Twinmotion. So log into your Twinmotion account somehow. It happens really seamlessly, but you can go ahead and do that. And then go over to populate. And then in the populate menu, you're going to see three options. Select urban. You do need a very good internet connection for this. So you can see the open street map contributors is actually there and in the urban setting you can see a rectangle that you can use to select the area that you want you can actually click the borders and hover over it like this and just you know choose how small you want the area that you want to import to be so i'm just going to go, i'm just going to look for where there are you know contextual buildings that we can go on to grab you can also use the search location option here to type in a location that you actually want to search for so I'm just going to use the context that I found in here to actually select it. Once you have an area that you want, you, you can choose as wide as you want that area to be where you want to grab. I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit and then go ahead and hit download and place. So what Twinmotion is going to do is to go ahead and download that region and then it's going to place it into your scene with the materials and the building namings and everything you're going to see everything in your scene graph locked into a folder and called urban context so that's what it's going to look like we're just going to let the file go on ahead and download now it could take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your internet speed on your computer of course so once it is done downloading and placing your context you can zoom out from your building model you can use q and a as usual and just zoom out to get a clear picture of what everything that is happening so there is your urban context i kind of chose a small one Okay, apparently there are two urban contexts that I've gone on to import. So this is what one of them actually looks like. You can get a complete urban context if you go ahead and grab more items. So I think I grabbed two in the process of trying to do this video. There's a second context all the way over there. I can go ahead and select one item and just press F. It's going to take us all the way there. And then, yeah, you can see the other urban context. If you do a better grab of this model, you can get a clear picture of what you're looking for in the exact location of where you actually want to import your building from. If you know the location of where your house is on the map, you can just go ahead and grab that context and then bring it in here into Twinmotion. And then you can model your building and keep it right beside one of these urban contexts and just to bring a lot more realism to the environment in your building. So that's how you can go about importing an urban context into Twinmotion. You can try this yourself and then see how it works out for you. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the HDRI environment here. And yeah, that just adds a different level of realism to it with the urban context that we have in place so you can go also and apply materials you can use the material picker and select the urban context materials you can see that it's just base context it's one on the ground here this asphalt one that is on this floor you can also reduce the brightness of this material you can just apply materials to the context just the way you would in normal twin motion materials for more videos like this remember to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video